Hello, dear friends! It is usually said that the Battle of France in 1940 was an easy ride for the Germans. However, history remembers moments when French tanks gave serious resistance to the German Panzerwaffe. Let's take a look at the first story. The most famous French tank driver Pierre Biot served in the 41st Battalion, which during the German attack on France had Char B1 and Char B1 Bs tanks. Pierre Biot took part in battles with the Germans. On the 16th of May 1940, his B1 Bs tank, which had a name Air, met a column of German Panzerkampf wagon on the street of the Stone Village. It is worth noting that on small French streets there is not much room for maneuvering. The French giant had two guns, which Pierre took advantage of. He ordered the gunner to hit the lead tank with a 75mm gun. And he himself shot at the last tank of the column with a 47mm gun. Both enemy vehicles were destroyed and the Germans were trapped. Then Biot shot the rest of the tanks like it was a shooting gallery. Leaving the village, Biot met another column, which was destroyed absolutely the same way. Pierre's vehicle took 140 hits, but not a single shell penetrated its armor. During the battle, Biot destroyed 13 German tanks, 2 PZ-4 and 11 PZ-3, as well as two anti-tank guns. For this battle, Pierre Biot was awarded with the Legion of Honor and the Military Cross. And the second story is even more heroic than the first one. The crews of the two B-1 Beast tanks, the Mistral and Tunis, made their mark during the battle near Landresi on the 17th of May 1940. The French tanks attacked the enemy from the flanks. The two B-1Bs stood at a distance of 150 meters, and the enemy machines were squeezed between them, with no chance of escape. The Germans could not offer organized resistance. The Tunis crew took advantage of this and began to methodically shoot the vehicles. By the estimates of the commanders of the Mistral and the Tunis, about 100 German tanks, armored vehicles and cars and six anti-tank guns were destroyed. Unfortunately, the infantry did not arrive in time, and the French tanks were destroyed by the Germans on the night of 18th 19th of May, and their crews were taken prisoner. The French tank crews with allies fought the Germans until the very end of the war. Some of them received high government awards. After the victory against Germany, the veterans were actively involved in the formation of the French armored forces, and Pierre Biot even became Minister of Defense of France, serving in that position from 1955 to 1956. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please support it with your likes and don't forget subscribe to the channel. See you all later!